Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got to break down the new team of the week that came out. Uh, wasn't any high-end cards that for like the hut rich that would be uh, excited about, but there was quite a few cards uh, that the free-to-play players or guys that don't have like the giant master set squads and like that. There's a couple of good value cards that we're going to break down. Uh, so remember, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. Give the video a like if you did enjoy it. We're also going to rip my rivals packs at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that because I'm sure... I'll get absolutely blasted from those. But anyways, let's get into the team of the week. All right, we'll start out with the 90, Sebastian Ajo with Thief and Wingman. Ajo has been a pretty, pretty good card since launch, basically. Thief on this card is pretty useless, though, because it doesn't get him high enough to be, um, you know, useful in this as a center, even though he is a center. Uh, with Wingman activated, he can get his acceleration up to 95, and obviously his speed can go to 91 with Distributor, and he's got a decent shot as well. This is a card, again, for anyone that needs a left-handed winger, That this would be a nice upgrade from Connor McDavid, to be honest with you, just because um, you know his shot's going to be a little bit better. So if you're looking for that upgrade from base Connor McDavid, these are the kind of cards that would go kind of a long way. And again, Thief might help you out if you need one more to it for, to actually help at a real center, but not really useful here. Moving on, we've got the 88, Ryan Strom. Man, I completely forgot about Ryan Strom with Workhorse and Light the Lamp. And again, another card because of synergies isn't half bad. Um, so obviously, you're going to have to play him on the wing. Uh, 90 speed with Distributor and then 94 acceleration. Uh, his shot, again, not very good. This is, again, going to be a card that people that are still using some base cards or, you know, maybe you started your team late, you might be able to find a spot for him here. He's going to be very cheap, probably under 50K, well under 50K. And with Workhorse and Light the Lamp, he isn't awful obviously you can do better but you you know not not terrible again then we've got the 90 of phil kessel with howitzer and this is a fantastic card with howitzer activated he gets his speed up to 97 with distributor acceleration go to 94 his shots almost 99 his hand set his hand stats can get to 99 with the magician activated this is a really good right-handed card for anyone that can't afford a master set item phil's going to cost a lot still uh, but with the synergy combo you're in business here this could be a really really nice card uh, for anyone that can't afford those master set players then we've got the 90 gabriel landis cog with thief and magician thief Almost allows him to play center at 87 draws. You could do worse, uh, which isn't terrible. And he's built like a centerman, too. 6-1, um, slow speed. Um, so I would probably just avoid, because unless you are gonna, unless you have Thief and you can play him at center, he's not a very good winger. Um, just not big enough to, to make up for the fact that he's got under 90 speed. Um, and his shot isn't anything special. Like there's, I would much rather have um, you know str um, uh, the Sebastian Ajo than this 90 Gabriel Landeskog. Moving on, we get the 90 PS Suter with Shutdown and Howitzer. Makes this card a little bit more interesting because, again, he is 5'9", so a lot smaller. His shot isn't bad with Howitzer and Shutdown activated over 90. Uh, speed can get to 93 with Distributor, 91 Acceleration, and Body Checking gets up to 94 as well. Um, his hand stats are pretty rough. He's going to play pretty stiff. Um, but a very weird mix, like very small, but 94 body checking, but he's got no hands like, or low, lower hand stats. Just a very odd card. I'm, I'm curious to see if anyone uses him, what he feels like, to be honest with you. Then you've got the 88 Brian Rust, who I completely forgot even existed this year. Light the Lamp and Gladiator on this one. Uh, not Again, not one that I'm really excited about. Any sub-90 speed for a winger that isn't huge is just not going to give you any benefit at this stage of the game i'm not talking they need to have 99 speed but at least 90 um to keep up or take advantage of the of the slow moving defenseman uh, because anything under 90 you're basically allowing the big guys like dougie hamilton to outskate you and that's just putting yourself in a hard position because he's already so hard to get around um and his synergy combo not very good so pass here on the brian rust moving on we get the 87 rupe hints with workhorse and magician and same thing. Like you could almost play him at center with 84 face off, but six foot three is nice, but 87 speed with distributor, you have to play him at center because he's not going to be fast enough to go down the wing. Even if I had a base guard team, I would not start uh, this 87 Rupe Hints. Sell him if you pack him. We got the 88 JP, uh, sorry, <clears throat> John Gabriel Pajot with passing playmaker and wingman. Uh, over 90 over 90 shot isn't bad face offs are 87 so again kind of on that line uh speed gets up to uh 91 with distributor 95 with accelerate or 95 acceleration not bad i think there's better options for you depends on his price if he's under 50k probably a decent buy 83 rocco grimaldi with howitzer and shut down five foot six 89 speed pass 
All right, 81, Jean, Jan Kovar with Speedster and Thief. Again, same kind of situation. No need for here. We got Cooper Morodi with Barrage and Workhorse. Nothing to see there. 79, Jason Atkinson. Again, not really usable either. On to defenseman. Man, OEL has like 50 cards this year, I swear. Uh, Swarm and Magician on this one. Um, he's been a phenomenal card all year long. This is a fine defenseman card if you can't afford the master set, guys. 93 speed, 93 acceleration, over 90 shooting. His hand stats are getting almost maxed with if you have Magician and Swarm activated. Uh, 89 body checking, he's 6'2". Like, OEL cards are great this year. Um, he just has so many of them. Um, but yeah, if you guys are looking for a left-handed defenseman, I know a lot of you guys are that are in that kind of that low 90s range. This is a very good option. Next, we got the 88 Adam Fox with Shutdown and Wingman. I'm not a huge fan of Adam Fox cards. I used his Master Set 2021, 2031, didn't like it. He's just not fast enough to, you know, to notice. Um, like, you could basically have, this one's obviously a lower overall, 88 overall, but again, at 88 speed, you can get it to 91, whereas you could have, like, you know, the Phil Myers have 90 speed or, or that, that Headman. Like, it's just tough. Um, I think that there are better options among right-handed uh, defensemen in that high 80s range. 91, Roman Yossi with Spark and Gladiator. I'd probably still rather have the the Master Set guy. I mean, 90 speed's good. Acceleration's capped at 90, though, and his shot accuracy isn't above 90. So I would probably sell this one for whatever you can get for it. Jared Spurgeon shut down in Howitzer. Never been a fan of Jared Spurgeon cards. Again, on defense, I think size is extremely important. Five foot nine is awfully tough to make up for it. He does, however, have 95 speed. Um, so that's something, but his shot power is only 93. I did, like I, I honestly just think that Jared Spurgeon cards are really tough to use defensively. 79 Noah Lawan, I want to say speedster and light the lamp. Nothing to see here. Just yeah. And then Ronan Seeley, Magician and Wingman, same kind of situation. And we'll move on to the goaltenders. We've got the 87 UC Sorrows with Swarm and Spark. Under six foot goaltender, tough to use. And his synergy combo is not terrible, but yeah, nothing here. And then Philip Gustafson with Balance and Distributor, same situation, nothing to see here. All right, let's move on to the packs. All right, as always, I'll take Untradeable for the content. Again, I want to give you guys as many times I can see if I can make a big pull. We've gotten a couple of, uh, I think it's like three weeks in a row of of Silver Master Icons. So we'll see what we get here, boys. All right. I bet you I don't pull any 86s at all, but nonetheless, that's okay. We're just ripping to see if we can't uh, get some cards we can make icon collectibles for. Ugh. All right. Colby Roback. Six, wow, six foot four. Too slow, but wow, okay. Oh, there goes that. I got an 86. That's a tough pull. Never good to see those those kind of pulls when uh, uh, you've taken untradeable, but whatever, that's fine. Nothing all that crazy. Hey, the banker, let's go. All right, moving on. Next pack, we got two more to go, or three more to go, sorry. Take a look here. You think we get another one, folks? Maybe. Doom, Dumba, Martinez. Yeah, I just, I wish you were guaranteed something. That's all. I wish there was a topper like there is in, like, Madden. You know, you over up a pack and you're guaranteed, like, an 86 overall. Or maybe, like, a trade-in where you could... Ugh. Dude, my pack luck has been nuts. I got to stop taking on tradable. All right, well, I guess I get to try out PS Suter. <laughs> That's tough. All right, I guess I get to try him out. <laughs> I don't pull anything for months. This, these last couple weeks have been gnarly. Gotta take it. Gotta take tradable. Guys, speaking of which, don't take untradable at this stage of the game unless you are really far behind and you're trying to make like Lemieux and Couturier and you need the cards for sure. But it, and or if you're trying to make a Ginla or Taves, if you're just you know you've got a good team, you're just looking to upgrade. Take tradable guys so that that situation doesn't happen to you. Because I can't do anything with those. I'm, I'm they're not gonna make my team and I'm just stuck with them now. So make sure that you're taking uh, tradable rewards for the most part at this stage of the game. Do we get another one? Like another 86? I don't know, man. Three? Three 86? Three purples? They need to up the purple. Don't get excited over that one. No, I think we're, I think we're safe in this one. We're clear, which is okay, because then it doesn't make me feel as bad. Logan! Let's go, my, my man. All right, that is going to do it there. Here we are. 
All right, guys. Also, if you haven't checked out my defense video, uh, I did one a couple days ago on putting your defensemen on their correct side. So lefties on the left, righties on the right. It's actually been pretty good. So go check that out. And let me know what you think. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one, boys.